Alrighty guys, what's going on? Linky here, and today, Pokemon officially announced that a new Pokemon Presents is going to be taking place on February 27th. That is this Sunday at 9 a.m. Eastern. There's a lot to discuss here. Let's speculate a little bit about what we're gonna see. This morning, Cerebi and a bunch of other outlets officially confirmed that a Pokemon Presents is going to be taking place on Pokemon Day, the last of Pokemon's big week of celebrations and announcements. It is going to roughly be 15 minutes in length, and it's going to be taking place, I believe, at 9 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. There's a lot that we could see in this Presents. 15 minutes is shorter than the presents we've been getting over the last couple years, but I think it just means that we're going to be seeing a couple less announcements and things that are less substantive. That means that we're probably going to see two to three things. What we're going to get is very subject to change. There's a lot of wild speculation going on on the internet right now as to what it could be. And I think two things, if I had to be a betting man, are a lock to be seen at this Presents. If these two things aren't at the Pokemon Presents, then I will be surprised. I'm not claiming that I have insider information or insider knowledge, but just given Pokemon's track record, I would be shocked. There's also one thing I'm positive we're not going to see out of this presents and all of that I'm going to cover here. Now, before we go any further, I just want to mention that the vast majority of you guys who are watching these videos and hopefully enjoying them aren't subscribed to the channel now, of course. Subscribing is free and you can unsubscribe at any time. And if you do subscribe, be sure to turn that notification bell on so you never miss another upload. Now, I've done two videos previously speculating on certain things that I think we're going to get this year. I did a video a couple weeks back talking about Pokemon moving forward and what the future is. And in that video, I predicted a bevy of things. I also did a video last week going over what I think specifically we would see or what I would want to see in a potential Pokemon Legends Arceus DLC. All of my predictions that I did in those videos are still fair, and I think they're going to come in this Pokemon Presents. So if you want to see my predictions for the rest of 2022, I'll have a link up in the corner right now for you guys to see that. And check back to my most recent video if you want to see my predictions at the end card of this video for the Pokemon Legends Arceus DLC. But what are we going to see? I think we're going to see a couple things. I think we're going to see an out-of-the-box announcement. Something random, something not having to do with video games. Maybe it's another anime. Maybe it's a Pokemon Go tie-in. Maybe it's some sort of... Maybe it's Detective Pikachu 2 that we heard about years ago now and was recently reconfirmed to be in development. It's going to be an out-of-the-box thing. Probably not video game related, but if it is video game related, it'll be something like Detective Pikachu 2 on the Switch, Detective Pikachu 1 coming to the Switch being ported, if that project is indeed still happening. When it comes to the video game front, when it comes to quote-unquote big releases from the Pokemon Company, I am standing pat and thinking it's going to be one or two things. First of all, I think we're overdue for another spin-off title, some sort of maybe a remake of an older spin-off, maybe a brand new spin-off, a sequel to a previous one. I've predicted for years now, ever since we got the first Pokemon Mystery Dungeon remake on Switch, that Explorers of Time, Darkness, and Sky, in the same art style as the most recent Mystery Dungeon remake, is is a no-brainer. It would sell well on the Switch. The story of Mystery Dungeon Explorers of Time, Darkness, and Sky is incredibly beloved. It is the best story Pokemon has ever put in a video game. It is wonderful, and it deserves to be played by more people. So if we're going to get a spin-off, that would be my pick, a new Mystery Dungeon. Maybe they do something like a Ranger and redo the formula because you would need to rethink how it works given that you no longer have the stylus and the bottom screen to swipe around Pokemon and catch them, something like that. I think the spin-off title is going to take up roughly eight minutes of the Pokemon Presents. It's going to be the big thing they reveal, and it's going to be coming out in April or May. The next thing that I think they're going to announce, and I think it's going to be right at the end of the trailer or the Presents, is a trailer for the Pokemon Legends Arceus DLC. I think it's going to give us more than the uh, trailer for Pokemon Sword and Shields DLC. We're going to see more gameplay of it and less concept art. I think it's more complete than the Sword and Shield DLC was, but I think it's going to come in a similar set package that the Sword and Shield one came in. It's going to be in two different parts. We're going to get one in the summer and we're going to get one in the late fall. That's how I think they're going to release it. I think those are the big announcements. Uh, I don't expect Generation 9. 
Generation 9 is not happening this year. I am fully confident in that for a couple of reasons. We just had a game come out, a big mainline game. They've done DLC for the last couple of releases. Pokemon Snap got, a new Pokemon Snap got DLC. Pokemon Tournament uh, DX got DLC. Sword and Shield got DLC. It makes no sense for Legends Arceus not to get DLC. That is going to be the quote unquote Pokemon game this year. We're not going to see Gen 9. Could we see Generation 9 teased at the end of the year? I think that's certainly possible. But my big prediction is that next February, February of 2023, is when we're going to see Generation 9 revealed. The other reason is the Pokemon Journeys anime is not close to ending yet. They like to line up the start of new generations, at least relatively close to when Journeys ends in Japan. It ends a lot later in the United States, and that kind of messes with the timeline a little bit, but that's not part of their calculation. Journeys isn't close to ending yet. There's a lot of more story content for Journeys to go through. The anime's not close. The card game still has a bunch of set expansions uh, that we usually see in a generation that just don't exist yet. There's always a similar number of expansions per generation of Pokemon trading card game releases, and we're not up to that point yet either. So Generation 9, I don't think is happening. A new Let's Go game, it's not happening. I've seen this proposed a bunch of times on social media for years now. We're never getting another Let's Go game. It's simply not happening. It's not something that they, at least in my opinion, ever planned to turn into a regular thing. It's DLC for Legends Arceus, and it's a spin-off game. That's my big prediction. Another thing that I don't think we're gonna see is any DLC for BDSP. I talked about this in a more in a, in a previous video, my big predictions for 2022 video. I don't think they're going to do any big major updates to BDSP. I think we will see home announced, home compatibility with BDSP and Legends announced in this presents, and it'll drop either right after the presents or sometime in March. But that's all we're going to see for BDSP. With that being said, it's an exciting time to be a Pokemon fan again. I would love to know what you guys think down in the comments section. Do you agree with my picks of my predictions for what we're going to see at this presents? Do you think we're going to see Generation 9? Do you think we're not going to get a spinoff title? Do you think Legends Arceus isn't getting DLC? Let me know down below. I would love to hear what you guys think. And if you enjoyed this video, please be sure to leave a like and make sure you're subscribed to the channel so you never miss another video. With that being said, I've been Linky and we'll see you all in the next one. Peace out.